Good morning, everybody. We are rolling out of the Graceland RV park. We just did two nights here. We got in late on uh, a couple nights ago and then did yesterday at Graceland. Just watch time because we're back in. And then today we, oh no. Then we're gonna go this way. We're not supposed to go this way, but it looks like it's blocked that way, so we're gonna go this way. It's really this. It is what it is. Anyways, <laughs> Graceland was awesome yesterday. If you're going to Graceland and you want a place to overnight, this is it, this is it. It's, it's literally right next door, walking distance, right next door and across the streets, right next door to Elvis's Memphis and the tickets and across the street from the mansion. So very, very cool. It's a nice campground. I mean, it's a quiet campground. I guess everybody coming here are going to Graceline and they stay for just a couple of nights. Uh, we were gonna drive around the campground and show you guys, but they had it blocked off. So yes. the way we were gonna go is... But yeah. uh, it's only, it's full hookups, right? Yeah. They also have some, a few partial hookups. It was about how much a night? Bucket, so. I have no idea. Forty-ish okay. dollars. Uh, Google that because it's going to change during seasons. Yeah. Well, I know it's not online the prices, but uh, but it was very convenient. It has a picnic area, barbecue area. It has a store, every store. It has pool, has some cabins. So in case you don't have an RV, are we going left or right here? Um, I'm assuming left. I'm talking to you guys. I'm not paying attention to this. We're taking a highway. There's some low bridges here, so. I'm thinking we're supposed to be going right. So we're gonna see here in a second. Well, right now we're going left, so. We are gonna spend at least one more day in Memphis. We wanna go downtown, see Beale Street. We wanna see a couple of other things here. They have a, uh, the National Civil Rights Museum is here, so we wanna see that. And tonight we're going to flat top at the Bass Pro Shops, which is supposed to be in the old Science Center, which is a big uh, pyramid near downtown. And I've driven by it several times when I was driving truck, but never stopped in. And it's supposed to be pretty cool, very convenient to downtown and a good place to overnight, less the freeway noise. Alright, we've landed here at Bass Pro Shops in near downtown Memphis and there's be, something about us. It's gonna be noisy if you notice the highway right above us. Something about us living under bridges. I don't know. <laughs> but interesting. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go check out Bass Pro Shops. And by the way, I know some of you are concerned about Memphis and their safety and all that. We've seen uh, a lot of reviews here that it's safe. We've seen security, we've been here, what, 10 minutes here? We've seen it already three times passing by. So there's a lot of security here. Yeah, security's good here. This is actually a Memphis Police Department. They have uh, cameras here, which is insane, but. And as I said, that you can hear the sirens behind us. Yeah, so welcome to Memphis. <laughs> well, I'm hoping it's, well, not hoping it's an ambulance, <laughs> because it would be a bad thing too. But. We've had several people warn us not to come to Memphis because it's very dangerous. We actually looked up statistics and statistics say, yes, it is. But we're not gonna cower inside of the RV where you know there's a lot of really cool stuff to see here, and we're gonna see it. And as long as you stay in the safe areas, right? Like anything and where everybody's walking, chances nothing is going to happen. I'm not going to let Lori go into any areas where she's going to try and buy crack or anything, so I think we'll be all right. <laughs> oh. We got the Christmas tree up already. 
Oh, that we did not know. There is a hotel in here. Holy smokes. I wonder if you're allowed to fish here. Holy smokes, look at the size of that one. No fishing here, Lori. No. I wonder how fast they can get that boat going in here. <laughs> this place is incredible. Look at up in there. All the lodge and stuff, that's got to be, all the hotel rooms are up and around the outer edge. That's pretty cool. This has got to be the largest Bass Pro Shops. This too. Oh, that there looks like a gar of some sort. And then I don't know what that is because I don't know anything about fish. Just amazing though. We're gonna have to go up in the elevator. We're gonna leave old Freya here at Bass Pro Shops and we're gonna head into downtown Memphis and explore a, explore a little bit. There's a lot of really cool stuff to see here. You do not want to take a wrong turn up on that freeway. That would be a nasty drop. I don't know if we've mentioned it. I'm sure I've mentioned it many times because I like to repeat myself because I can't remember shit, but <laughs> we are huge fans of music. Lori more a jazz fan. I'm more a rock and roll kind of guy. And this is the undisputed beginning of rock and roll. Elvis Presley's recorded here, Johnny Cash, Sam Cooke, and uh, BB King. King, a myriad of others have recorded here at Sun Studio, so we're gonna go check it out. What you gonna say? You're gonna keep talking to Freddy. We're going inside and she's putting on her hat. It's because it's raining right now. It is raining right now. Of course it's raining, we're touring today. This would be the window that Sam Phillips looks out watching the musicians play. Elvis Presley would stand right about over there. Pretty amazing. This is the spot marked where Elvis would stand in the studio. This is where the bass player used to stand. And then your guitar player over on that side. The tour of Sun Studios was amazing. Our tour guide was Graham. Awesome, awesome guy and did a great job with the tour. This door right here 
is where artists like Elvis Presley and Johnny Cash and Jerry Lee Lewis and B.B. King, and there's going to be a million of them that I forget, Carl Perkins, but this is the door that they went through to get to the studio. Absolutely amazing history of rock and roll inside of this building. You guys should get down here and do this. That was really, really cool. So, Lori, do we even need to rate this? It's just mind-blowing. <laughs> How many people became famous from here? And I would say, again, depends on whether or not you're a music fan. If you're a music fan like we are, I would say this is a bucket list. This, this place is insane. The history and the people and the artists that have come through these doors and recorded in, in between these walls, mind boggling. The cool thing about it, they have like so much original stuff. Like the mic that they use from 50s to 60s where Elvis and all of these people sound like D9, the actual, is right there. And you can touch it, you can take a picture with it. I mean, there's so much stuff that is original from there. So for me, it's a, it is a day trip for me. Cool. And uh, let's continue our tour of Memphis. Yep. We are here at the Lorraine Motel. That's kind of like Lorraine almost, but Lorraine. And this is where on April 4th, 1968, Martin Luther King was shot. He was talking right up here on the balcony in front of room 306. The shot came from across the street at the boarding house. And uh, it was a sad day here in Memphis. Lorraine and I were just talking about how not all history is pretty, but it's how we, we learn and how we move forward and come together as people, as a country, as a, as a world, as a whole, and hopefully not repeat some of this stuff. And uh, this place is pretty sobering, but uh, something that, that we definitely needed to come and see. I think we kind of did that in the wrong order. We should do the, the uh, like depressing stuff first, and then the fun stuff later, so that we don't do all this fun stuff. And then it's like, oh, not depressing. And we should learn from it. But yeah, it's like it brings your mood a little bit more. Like yeah. yeah. So, do we have any more depressing stuff we want to do before <laughs> before we continue, uh, or can we no. do some more fun stuff? All right, let's try and dig up some more fun stuff. I think Lori and I were missing Kevin and Laura today, so we decided to eat vegan here in Memphis. Well, we have to get our barbecue on, so we came to a barbecue, a vegan barbecue. Yeah, we figured that if we're going to have Memphis barbecue, then we're going to have to do it in a vegan restaurant, so here we are. Looks pretty cool. It's called Imagine. Check that out. Pretty cool. It's in Midtown Memphis. I think we scared everybody. When we got here, there was like, it was full. And now it's empty. Yeah, I guess maybe we came late. We're, we're in the Linner area right now, which is we're way between lunch and dinner, so not too many people in right now. All right, Lori, what are you having? The buffalo drumsticks. Buffalo drumsticks, and I'm just having a chicken, buffalo chicken sandwich. Barbecue beans. With barbecue beans? <laughs> Looks delicious. It's delicious. Where we just ate is an area called the Cooper and Young District, and it's right around the corner from Midtown Memphis. And we just drove through there, it's a beautiful area. A lot of really cool uh, shops, bars, restaurants, and uh, one of the live music venues that they recommended to us at Sun Studios was there called Lafayette's. We're gonna head over to this place called the Crosstown Concourse and check it out. Now again, Memphis is not known to be a really safe place, and there was one corner that we pulled up to, people hanging out, looking a little sketchy, 
but like Lorraine and I were just talking about, those street corners are in every major city across North America. The United States, Mexico, and Canada. Or yeah, anywhere in the world for that matter. Mexico City, New York City, Miami, anywhere there's gonna be those places that are gonna make you feel uncomfortable. And here's the cool thing about it, you just keep driving. If you feel uncomfortable anywhere you go, just leave the area. Don't stick around and be in an area that makes you uncomfortable. If you're uncomfortable, gotta get down the road. This is a funny thing. It's like we just got to the area from the wrong side of town. That's why we felt a little bit uncomfortable because if we have come and go there from a totally different way, it was all pretty and artsy all throughout the way there. Yeah. We just happened to approach it from the wrong side of town. Yeah, so, so far in Memphis, no bad experiences. It's all been really cool. It's actually a very pretty, uh, very pretty city. We are now at a place called the Crosstown Concourse here in Memphis. Very cool looking. It's an old Sears building. Check that out. So I guess they've turned it into some kind of shopping center and entertainment complex. So we're going to meet a couple of viewers here. This should be cool. Check it out. I will say, this is really cool. Saw some of the pictures I just showed you of the way the building used to look. Check this out now. Really cool great job. what you can do when you have vision. You see that old building and that's crazy looking, right? The way, that's, the way this thing is overhanging, it looks like it's coming off the side of the building. That's cool. All right, this is Chris and Mary, and we were just here at the concourse. What is this called? The Crosstown awesome. Concourse. Absolutely amazing place. It's an old Sears building here in Memphis, and they introduced us to the Mem Pops. It was a delicious <laughs> popsicle. We had banana something. Nutella. Banana and Nutella. And what did you guys have? Pineapple basil. Pineapple Cactus basil. Agave. Cactus agave. They were awesome. Anyway, so if you're in Memphis, look up Mem Pops. You guys should have them. But uh, thank you guys for hanging out with us, and we'll yeah, fun. see you guys. <laughs> see you guys. Bye. Bye. All right, see you guys. Safe travels. All right. Look what it says right here. What? Oh, how appropriate. <laughs> That's awesome. Like, After meeting with Chris and Mary, we were heading back to the RV, and we thought, can't leave Memphis without hitting Beale Street. <laughs> so here we are. Now. Here we are. been a couple of days here in Memphis. We've had a blast. We've seen a bunch of stuff. 
we realize we haven't seen it all and we're probably gonna have to come back, but not a bad thing. Memphis has been pretty freaking cool. And we're here on Beale Street, so what better place to close it out than here? If this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you subscribe to our channel, stay up to date on all of our travels. It'd be equally as cool if you like the video. And we'll see you again soon in another one. Bye guys. Bye now. Oh, and if you guys are ever wondering about you know, being unsafe here in Memphis. Yo, put your Check out the police presence. It's a lot of police cars. There's police cars everywhere. Yeah. A little bit dead on a Wednesday night. Let's get out of here. Time to go. <laughs> it's a super foggy night here at the Bath Pro Shops. You can barely see the sign. You can hear the train is so freaking loud. So we're gonna try and go to sleep here in a second. But we wanted to show you guys that, you know, we're not alone here. There's several RVs here. Lots of people around. The highway noise is gonna be the least of our worries with that freaking train out our front door. <laughs> It's just overnight. Sleep tight, Lorena. See, at some point, as an RVer, you get used to the traffic noise. It becomes like white noise, just background noise. Not the train, though. Not the train. <laughs> I'm just talking about the highway. <laughs>